It's me to say what live backstage at our class up show 100.3 Phillies R&B and hip hop. He is performing. His name is Highland yeah, Star. Hi sure. Highland, how I'm are you? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? You doing all right? I'm all right, man. Look, we getting to know each other. You got a record. Your first big record is called Don't Make Me Beg. How you feeling right now? I'm feeling great, man. The record is doing amazing. We got over 10 million global streams. I mean, it's going up. It's charting already. We haven't even hit the, haven't even had the radio yet, but it's still going crazy. So tell me about yourself, because you're from Oklahoma. Right, right. Tell me about your journey. How did you start singing? How'd you get into music? So um, I've been doing I've been doing music for a long time since I was probably about 15 years old. I'm 26 now, so that's like 11 years. Um, I started off on YouTube doing covers, really just trying to get my name out there. You know, trying to trying to get people to discover me. So I ended up going viral on one of my videos, I've seen that. which was which was uh, Lifestyle by you know, I actually remade it with one of my friends. I ended up going viral, and I just kept being consistent. Just kept growing my brand, just kept promoting, kept promoting, kept promoting, until I decided just to get up and move to Atlanta. Hmm. And I, 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 just, I just, I know in Oklahoma, there's really not a lot of opportunity. You know what right. I'm saying? So I was like, I have to move to Atlanta to make it work. So I ended up moving to Atlanta. Um, I, I came down with like $200 in my pocket. You know, I was like in, my, in a beat up Mustang. And I just, I just, I used to really just go to Lennox Mall and sing the, diff, sing the different celebrities, you know, just to try to see if I can get an opportunity off of that. And I ended up singing to the right one and ended up getting the situation. And now I got a record out called Don't Make Me Bad. You guys can go check it out now. Featuring Lil Baby. That's my label mate. Shout out Wolfpack Global Music. Yeah, man, it's up. So there's a lot to unpack there because you just said this is my first big song with Lil Baby. Yeah. Like that's light work. Like everybody <laughs> does that. Like that's normal. Man, Lil Baby's like baby the my hottest partner. guy in the game. Yeah. Like, and this is your first That's big family. Song. That's family, though. But but he didn't have to get on your song, right? right? You're right. Because right. a lot of people sign to your label. Exactly. And he's not on everybody's song. You're right. You're right. You're <laughs> right. You're right. You're right. You're very right. So how did that happen? Um, You know, I, I, I kick it with Baby a lot. Like, when he when he goes out to his performances, when he does his appearances in the city of Atlanta, I, I, I try to tag along and just kind of just learn everything that I can from Baby. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, we got, like, the same big homie. Like, we're signed to the same person. Right. So, you know, like, it was off the rip family, but I, I feel like I showed him that I, I wasn't on no groupie shit. I was really just trying to learn what he did to become successful. And I feel like Baby just rocks with me because he just he seen I was a solid guy. I don't, I don't gang bang. I don't do nothing. I don't even, I'm not a street guy. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm really a... A good old boy, you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like he just rocking me because I'm just genuine, you know what I'm saying? So when you're following him around and learning how he moves, like what is the biggest takeaway that you get from just observing him? Um, Baby is just a real humble guy. You know, n no matter how big he, ha he is, he'll work with anybody. You know what I'm saying? You see it. Like I'm not, I'm not the biggest artist yet. Right. I'm going to be. But you better talk that long, <laughs> Island. You better tell I'm gonna, him I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. But he re he he reached out and 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 really like put his his imprint on my record. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, man, just being humble and just you know just really just stand down to earth to get you further than being a you know arrogant. what I'm saying arrogant yeah. and just thinking that you are all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so, don't make me beg. Is that like a real life story? How did you come up with the song? So actually, me and Sean Garrett. I was gonna ask you about Sean Garrett. <laughs> I see he was supporting you a lot. Yeah. So what's his influence on in that? So uh, Sean Garrett is my big brother. First of all, um, that's a that's a big big brother. Yeah. Like I mean, Sean Garrett is writing for Beyonce. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> like not lightweight. He um <laughs> he taught me he taught me everything I know when it comes to recording records. When it comes to you know um, doing interviews, yeah. when it comes to you know even even down to shooting videos and you know my facial expressions in the videos and how I need to be carrying myself in the videos, he taught me everything that I know today as an artist. So shout out to SG. But we created the record, man. We was in the studio. Um, we pulled up the uh, Keep Sweat sample. We like, okay, you may be young, but you may be young, but sure, you know what I'm saying? We got we, we was like, I'm like, bro, we, we need to, we need to. You may be young, but you're ready. Ooh. It got hot. It got real hot right here. Why did so, it get so hot? <laughs> <laughs> so we um we end up pulling up the sample. I'm like, but we need to remake that shit, bro. Like, we really need to redo that shit. He like, he like, yeah, we sure do. So we end up making a song called "Don't Make Me Bad" because you got to think about it like. 
guys of my age and my generation, like, we don't be doing all that begging. Right. Like, we don't be really, like, showing love and, like, really, like, trying to, like, make love to females no more. So, Sean, like, we need to make a song called Don't Make Me Beg and put Baby on it. Mm. I was like. So he already had the vision. I'm like, R&B with Baby on it? Ain't nobody, ain't nobody got that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, let's do it. So we recorded the record. Um, shot it over to Baby. Baby was like, oh, this shit fire as fuck. He did his, he did his verse in like three days. We ended up shooting a video the next week, and it was, it was lit. Wow. And now you have your very first song, produced by Sean Garrett, mm -hmm. featuring Lil Baby. Lit. Sampling Keith Sweat. Who hey. does that? <laughs> Who? R&B, man. R&B. Yes, How'd sir. How'd you get your name? How'd you get that name? So, it's a long story. Oh, Lord. It's a long story now, because it's actually my name. Oh, that's your real name. So actual, so so what your happened last was. Last name is Star. Well, my last name was Star until I got fifteen. Okay. So what happened was my mother was in jail. Mm -hmm. My dad was in a, was in jail with her. It was like a halfway house. This is back whenever they had like jails together. It was like male and female. So my mom was married mm -hmm. at the time, but she ended up she know her husband. She came out of prison pregnant with me and had to go tell her husband that she was pregnant by another guy. Wow. But in he, jail. yeah, he, she got yeah, pregnant by another guy in jail, and he right. was, you know, obviously her husband was out. She had to go tell her husband that she was pregnant with a, with another guy's baby, which was me. Wow. And he ended up taking me in as his own. Shout out to my stepdad. And shout out to my real dad too, because he came back around. <laughs> I ain't just gonna, you know, talk crazy about my dad. But um, he ended up taking me in, in on his uh, on his own. His last name is Star. Mm. I'm named after my uncle though. Right. Highland is is my he's a, he's a very successful uncle that I have. So it, she she didn't want to make her husband mad, so she named me after her brother, instead of after my dad. Right. And then my stepdad gave me his last name, and that's. And you're here, with your very first song featuring Lil Baby. Yep. Highland Star, ladies and gentlemen, tell them how they can find you. What's next? The album, all of that. Listen, man, you guys can go follow me on all social platforms at Highland Star. I just want to say I appreciate everybody. Um, for for if, if you already rock with me, I want to say I appreciate you, and I also want to say I appreciate the new people that's gonna come rock with me. And man, yeah, man, R and B is back, full in effect. Right. Highland star. <laughs> I mean to say, well, we are backstage. Highland's about to hop on stage. It's our class of yeah. show. Mean to say, what? Well, Almost 100.3 Philly's R and B and hip hop. Shout out. <laughs>